spotted two Nissans here. One seems to be rabid, be careful. We're in the deep bushes as you can see. Right. Actually, I'm just kidding. I'm actually just, uh, I'm actually just uh, here in my yard. Two, Nis two, two Nissans here. Right. So here we are. Okay, I'm gonna cut it with the uh, the horrible. Uh, I watched Crocodile Dundee last night, so I'm kind of in that little, you know what I'm saying. So as you guys can see, you got two of the old, you know, 240s chilling here. It was just actually finished up working on this guy, painting off the engine bay. Hopefully, you guys will see that video before this one goes up. Maybe it'll be flipped around. Maybe this one will go up before. It's really windy out today, but as you guys can see up top, by the way, this is being filmed on the G Pro GoPro Hero 4 Silver Edition. We already got the whole laptop set up out here. Um, this is, uh, you know, basically what we got going on here is, so ever since, there, okay, long story short, my car was at the dyno last time and I lost a cylinder due to a problem with the ECU. Um, I actually fried a couple little things here and there. Not really going to go too in depth with it right now because it's really kind of pointless. Long story short, um, car was just on five cylinders for a while and basically the tuner as he was road tuning it while that happened he basically just the car needed 20 percent more fuel uh, after it dropped that cylinder for whatever reason so basically now whenever i try to accelerate or get into boost with any sort of load uh, it'll actually just go full rich 10.0 you know off the charts and it'll actually just stutter and kind of you know just backfire so basically what i want to do here is just kind of eliminate all of that and basically reduce 20 percent amount of fuel here so I'm just gonna get right into it guys. We're on this tune here. We got it all running. Got my wires kind of in the way But um, you know what I mean? We're just gonna go ahead That needs to be on for this to Communicate also while I'm out here working you guys can see I got me a bit of 5 8 heater hose there I'm actually gonna go ahead and hook up the heat back up to this thing uh, because it is getting super chilly out here and uh, You know no heat is no BN. We are connected Oh, hang on, this is basically just showing us what we're gonna be seeing here. No, hopefully I didn't mess that up. <laughs> Never been asked that before. So basically now here you guys can see it's basically just drawing everything from the ECU, you know, to the computer here. This is the this is the load portion, um, RPM. We'll kind of do that up there, you know, right there. And then we're gonna go ahead and reduce the fuel. All right, so that look, looks a little bit better. Now we're a little more so, you know, not not as rich as we were up top now okay now let me just let me just tell you guys this this is not this is not me like i'm not like i said i'm not a pro tuner here by any means but i'm basically just doing the opposite of what was done uh, so hopefully i'm just you know my main goal here is just to see if i can actually get this thing to uh to basically just not go full rich you know when i'm when i'm driving when i'm cruising uh, well, uh, or should I say when I'm actually trying to get a little bit I can get boost like three or four pounds But anytime I get a little bit over that it just gets you know gauge reads full uh, full rich and uh, And you know it basically the car just wants to shut out and uh, You know just not not run as it should I wish I had a dyno Unfortunately, I can't really take this computer with me because the battery is pretty shot so it doesn't hold the charge Otherwise, I would love to kind of just take this for a little road tune do a quick little data log even though I probably oh yeah I wouldn't be able to see the air, air fuel ratios but I'll be able to see it in the car obviously and then just go ahead and just kind of mess with it you know stop on the side of the road and mess with it there on but it, I mean I hope I didn't do very much of a change I also just want to see the gauges here right quick timing see this is what I also wanted to check out timing is a little bit off we're at 10 degrees right now at idle where it should be reading uh, 15 degrees so I believe we can either go to our now why that right there is uh, a little bit worrisome I guess um, not really sure why that's all zeros uh, that's not good I don't know to be honest how I know how to do the timing is you pop the hood you go to the old cam angle sensor and right here and this guy you spin it left or right and that should basically adjust timing so i'm going to go ahead and get myself a 10 mil 10 millimetric all right now we turned it a little bit i just want to see what it's actually reading now still 10. all right quick update got myself a timing map here i believe it because it was i didn't have my aac valve 
connected in with Niztune here. I actually didn't have that box checked. And I believe this, like, RBs run off AAC and, and like, coolant temp. Or I don't know, something like that for this whole ignition time. I don't know. I got it back. That's all that matters. I'm going to take it for a quick little test drive, see what we're working with, if I made any sort of difference. And, uh, you know, hopefully I did, but it was a very slight change. I might go ahead and adjust my TPS just a hair. Uh, so it reads, you know, 0.5 volts. We'll, we'll burn everything, make sure we're good. All right, I believe that's it. And now we can go ahead and just disconnect. You know, boom, we're gone. Unplug this guy. And uh, we're gonna get the computer out, shut the hood, and I'm gonna go for a quick drive and see how we do. All right, so here we go. Um, moment of truth. <laughs> okay, that was only 10 pounds. Felt extremely good. I haven't been able to hit any more than like three or four pounds of boost. Um, so that's good. However, it's still, hopefully you guys can hear me. It still was, you know, reading full rich, but it wasn't rich to the point where I couldn't go anywhere. Um, so I don't know if that actually was the issue because all right i'm gonna i'm gonna talk for a quick minute here uh yesterday my battery actually died um and um i had to i was stranded in a parking lot in a home depot parking lot i was getting paint for the engine bay on uh on my car you know the budget 240 build and uh so as i go into to start the car as i'm leaving it doesn't want to start and what we found out initially is that these coil packs i have ls2 coil packs in my car and those draw so much power that they will not fire unless they see a certain voltage which is what like um i think it's about 12 12.3 12 volts at the coils so it's super fiddly uh, as far as like power I, I, so my battery i had like an auto craft walmart special which just obviously wasn't you know cutting it obviously so i got myself an interstate one i got it from work luckily you know my my, my boss he, he's such an awesome guy he's helped me so much through this uh he actually came out with a new battery and uh, what a legend man he saved the day and uh so now i have a brand new you know nice battery that will you know work and the, the cranking amps are so much better and this and that so all in all all i needed was a new battery pretty much to power power my coil backs literally like that's the only reason why i needed it so i'm not sure Woo, man those downshifts they're, they're so easy with a lightweight flywheel they happen so fast all right so i guess we'll we'll see if it's going to be good again here just a quick little you know subtle second gear pull shifted gears not really sure why um, but I mean yeah I mean we can we, <laughs> I can hear that turbo spool again holy cow I'm gonna see if I can just do a quick little quick little wide Dewey here that was completely legal uh, you know wink wink back into boost like I said before I, I wasn't able to get any more god this clutch man I'm still like not used to it even though I am god that sound Woo yeah we're just we're still way too rich um so I'm gonna 
see maybe I'll just continue to mess with it a little bit more and just take some out of like the high load area. I don't know. I might just take it out the whole map and we'll see we'll see where that gets me because obviously something has changed. I didn't take you guys on a ride along before I messed with anything, but I, I can swear to you that it would just like brr, brr, it would just stutter. It would be full full rich. It wouldn't want to go anywhere. Uh, so you know, we wouldn't get any more than I think three pounds of boost with like very little load. But when, when I say load, I mean you know you're not really giving it too much gas with the pedal. So I think we definitely we definitely fixed something, which is good. You know, which is really good. This is almost what it sounds like when you're cruising on the highway. It's it's really not bad at all. And you guys have to take into account I have a completely stripped out end, you know, hatch and you know back seats all gone. You'd be super surprised as to how much that like, you know, that that creates a lot more noise in here. You know, there's nothing to absorb it. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is at work I'm gonna buy some Dynamat, toss that in the back, get it all wrapped up, maybe even hit it with some bed liner so it looks super clean. And uh, you know it's gonna be awesome. Okay, well that was uh, a, a success, I guess. I mean, granted, we're still very rich, but my whole point was to at least so I can hit a little bit of boost. You know what I'm saying? Hear that turbo spool up a little bit. So now, as I like block myself in here, oh, also, I, uh, I didn't really bother to check if you guys could even see me, or not see me, but see what I was trying to let you guys see with this whole G Pro head cam setup. I didn't even check the... The wireless iPhone, you know, you can scream. Only bad thing about this head cam thing, it makes your hair like all, woo! Both of these cars are gonna be, you know, obviously being worked on throughout the whole off season. It sucks because I don't have like a, a proper, you know, garage to really work on these in, like I did last year. But uh, maybe I'll find something local, something nice where I can put these cars in and work on them, have some room, have some heat. Today's main goal, you know, I don't even know how long this video is gonna be, probably not too long, but I really just wanted to show you guys that, you know, it's actually not too hard to fix something that may be a little bit intimidating. Like I said, I don't wanna really dive too deep into that kind of stuff because I personally don't really, I'm not too involved in tuning enough to where I know just, oh, okay, do this. You know, I kind of have an idea, obviously with the air, air to fuel gauge, you know what's happening, you know, I'm, I'm really rich. So you should be around like 11, you know, 11 and a half, 12, I guess, in boost around there. And I'm full 10. So uh, we still have some work to do. Actually, speaking of my tuner today, he actually messaged me back today. So luckily, we'll be able to actually have some sort of tune on there soon, hopefully. As much as I'm like, you know, is it even worth it at this point? I really want to do it. I, even if it's for a couple weeks where I drive it fully tuned with all the power that I really hope it makes. And uh, it'll just be worth it because all this work that I put in, obviously you guys know that we have an RB25 coming next year. Well, it's in my garage right now. It's going to be built, going to be gnarly. So stay tuned for that. Budget 240 build, it's going on. We have some work to do there, a lot of work. But as you guys know, I really do appreciate the support. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell your friends. Loving the growth here. Can't wait to do some more stuff with this channel. Going to be really awesome. So hope you guys are all there with me. I'm going to get back to work getting some heat in my car because those mornings are getting brisk. And uh, I will catch you guys in the next one. Later. Peace.